Officers searching for a man who was caught on camera looking through someone's window. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kevin Holmes. Jennifer has a night off. After doing some digging, it turns out the home has been the target of some serious crimes this past month. WJCO News working for you tonight to find out what officers are doing to help this person out. Nick Dottario joins us now with more. Nick, this is more than a peeping Tom case, right? Well, at first glance, that's what we thought it was when we looked at the, to the news release, but turns out it's bigger than that. But um, now some neighbors say that they hope the suspect is caught because after all these crimes have been reported, they are pretty serious. Seeing a police car stroll through this Statesboro community isn't uncommon, but neighbors say lately it's been constant. There's just been a lot of a lot of police officers over there, a lot of patrolling around. High presence after police say this man was caught looking into a Park Avenue home Monday morning around 430. Police say he didn't attempt to break into the home or cause any damage. However, some people say violent crime here is on the rise. After neighbors told us it had been more than just the peeping Tom case at the residence, we went down to the police department and were able to get these incident reports. And sure enough, it wasn't just peeping Tom, but the same home on Park Ave was also the site of a sexual battery armed robbery and burglary all within the past three weeks. Incidents Dylan Connolly says have him on edge. It makes me feel uncomfortable, I guess, knowing that there's someone out there doing something like that. I have a girlfriend here that we've been together for a long time, so it makes me feel uncomfortable knowing that she's at the house alone sometimes. Police haven't said if the three crimes are related and declined giving WJCL an on-camera interview because of the sensitivity of the case. They also won't say who took this photo, but hope by releasing it, someone will come forward. Until then, Connolly says he'll do what he has to to keep himself safe. Trying to make sure that we don't leave anything unlocked or anything valuable in the car. Try to make it look like there's a lot of people here. Police are offering a cash reward to help solve this latest crime. If you have any information, you can call them at 912-764-9911. Again, 764-9911. We've put all this information, including photos of this guy on our website, WJCL.com. All right, Nick, hopefully money talks and leads to some closure. Hopefully, and we'll see if, if those three crimes are related. We'll, of course, get all the information, too. Thank you, sir. You're welcome.